You guys know what it is. New character, new guy. Gotta do it. It's pretty much against the law if I don't. Alright, what's going on guys? It is the new character Demon Meliodasidis. And if you've been watching every other video of people, I don't know, when they always say, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. I, I love it. The, the people that play on the Japanese servers crack me up because uh, they think that it's always gonna be exactly like how they got it on the on that server and like globals, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a wild card. Some banners are double, some aren't, so it's just really funny. So when this character comes up, the only thing that they say that this character is good for is one thing, and that is the new raid. So as far as like summoning a character for a new raid, just for that one raid, which obviously there's multiple characters you can bring into that same raid. It's kind of like you can't just bring Merlin, you can't just bring Gustav into the red. You kind of need multiple characters to kind of help that out. So do you summon for a character that's good for a raid where you could probably use other characters in the same raid? So, I don't know, seems a little doo-doo. Look at his other stats here. Hey, 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 oh, you, you won't let me. You dog. All right, so I like to use this site a little bit just because it gives you like uh, all the stats. As you can see, you cannot see it on the original page. But it's really important to note like stuff like crit chance because I discovered in the other time I did the guide is that you actually have a really cool thing is that each character has their own kind of like base stats. So he actually starts off with 50% crit chance, which is really, really good. Uh, 155 crit damage. And these stats are low because he's supposed to be uh, a murderer. Recovery rate 120. Recovery rate is really weird because there's recovery rate and then there's regeneration. And it's just a really strange thing. I, I don't know. I feel like they should clean that up. He also has some base baked in lifesteal. I've noticed also that certain characters have lifesteal. Meanwhile, others don't. So that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> really really cool to see that and even if you see this crimson X all the way up a this and uh, yes you can use him on the red demon because he he does okay reason being is because he does have the ignite on the s1 which really cool is that it automatically applies to ignites when it gets to uh, rank 2 sorry so that's really good most of the time you see that only happen when it's at rank 3 for a lot of the other characters that bring in ignite so that's really good that he has it that it comes on rank 2 and as you can see here, the damage scales up pretty good on each one. Remember, like I said, not every rank two is worth even bothering to do on every character because sometimes the damage doesn't scale up. Sometimes you're only doing it for a specific reason, like like a, oh, now I get to petrify it, but the damage stays the same. S2, which is just uh, Damage, and then it has Infect. Now, what's really important about Infect that I feel like is weird is restricts recovery related stats. This is actually different from a skill like, let me go in the game. Then you have characters like Arthur. Now his rank two is, he's, a, he's one of the criminals that I'm talking about. His rank, his rank one and rank two literally do the same damage. But when you get it up to rank two, it disables recovery skills. Now the difference between disabling recovery skills and in fact, they did name it something different in this game. Just so you had a, a better idea that it's, it's a little bit different. Now they call an effect that it restricts recovery related stats. Pretty much it means that you cannot heal when you have that. Let me break it down even a little bit further. Go to our, our good friend Blue King. If you get you can't use recovery skills, you literally can't use a green. You can't use it. Does not matter. You can't use it. <laughs> so even though his thing gets different, you can't use it at any rank at all. Can't use it at all. But if you have a where the infect thing, you actually could use this you can actually use the remove debuff you can use this uh and it will then it will actually remove the debuff and heal right uh this one actually i think would mess up a little bit because it says it does it removes the debuff afterwards so you have to be a little bit careful with that but skills like this that just have a flat out heal if you have the infect on you you will not heal at all so you just got to be a little bit careful if you're fighting against this character or you're fighting against any character that it says that their recovery skills are locked and it's also oh, like, oh, okay that means like another character can still heal them I, I learned this because I got screwed by that a couple times I fought against the Arthur in PvP and I was like oh he blocked my healing and I was like oh I guess I can't heal but it means that the character can actually still be healed but having a character that has access to infect 
on one of the basic skills is actually pretty strong. He does have to get it to rank two, but just to stop people from healing unless they have a, a debuff, like a cleanse, is really strong in my opinion. Uh, unfortunately, most people use King, so they always have the cleanse. They can always cleanse it away. And not that many people use healing, so it's kind of like something that, in my opinion, that's going to be good against bosses. <coughs> the other boss. Uh, it's really good against bosses and other things like that. And PvP is to stop maybe, what, a heal oriented team but not that many people use that it will stop people that are life stealing so you can use this against bond and like kind of stop him from healing up and make it a little bit easier to take him out and we're obviously green nunchako extorty pop up the chest bond you know or any character for that matter because a lot of characters as you just saw in his base stats he actually has life steal built in so he as he's just doing a ton of damage you know just does a little life steal helps the character stay alive it, it's really good Last but not least, uh, let's go over his lovely Damahe here, uh, the Hellbuster. I'm gonna go into uh, the net marble thing so I can actually show it to you because I, I think they look pretty good. At least this one looks pretty good with my boom Merlin Derlin. This one is weak point, and if you guys know weak point, you should because of Jericho. You should because of the first Meliodas that they give you has it. It's it's a really good. I don't even know what to call this. I guess type word word keyword i don't freaking know uh but it does more damage if there's a debuff and lo and behold the boy done got a debuff right off the off the rank one skill one and if you have the rank two guess what this is also a debuff as well so he has ways to put debuffs on and keep them on especially with his skill one so that's pretty good and then if you see here it goes up to 440 but it's times the three of this so it does a lot of damage it's the same reason why jericho pretty much kills people once she gets her crit going and speaking of crit going, his lovely passive is Rage. Increases crit chance by 50% per dead ally. This guy is uh, a murderer. <laughs> Just seeing everyone die is like, yeah, buddy. So what's really cool, as you saw with his base stats, he's, once one person dies on the team, when this is why I think he's pretty good in PvP, is that you actually could bring him in as the fourth slot. You know, and he comes in, someone's at least, at least one other person has died, and he'd be at 100% crit automatically and then you know the build kind of opens up a little bit for him all right let's look at his ultimate moves i don't have the character yet and we're gonna do i'll summon what i got i got um three worths of summons and then i'm just gonna save the rest you know but let's look at his ultimate moves let's see it Ooh, teleported this Ooh. oh my god who does that who does the Ah, oh, Magneto. Magneto does that. I was like, yo, that looks so familiar. Magneto does that, you know, uh, gravity squeeze. Yo, shout outs if you, uh, say, say something in the chat, uh, in the chat, in the comment section if you uh, play Marvel. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, that's his move, but the one with Merlin looks ridiculous. I don't even understand, like, what's really going on because I'm probably not that far in the story. What kind of gangster? Ugh. He looks demonic. They both look insane, dude. What? Ha! <laughs> she hits him with the Nappa. Like, hey, drag, hit me in the comment section. You know that Nappa? That was the Nappa flip right there. That was the... Mmm! Up the ass. <laughs> put it up your ass. And then he was like, yeah, put it down that ass. Yo, it's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy what you can do to that ass. Anyway, as far as gear is concerned, I mean, I would definitely have to go with a crit damage build. It does suck that a character has to die in order for him to have 100% crit chance with his current, with his base stats. He definitely has weak point on his alt though, so his other moves will have to kind of carry him through. But I do want to try out, don't look at his gear, I'm uh, switching things around, I'm moving gear around with people. You know I'm a weirdo. But I have to do a legitimate comparison between attack, trying to get like the same amount of attack and then have the same amount on a crit damage set and like kind of do a comparison very hard to do that though you know you have to do a lot of re-rolling and it, it will it will take a while to do it but a character like him though wouldn't be that bad because he has a lot of built-in crit so you can kind of see the comparison but when you have crit like that you might as well get the crit damage up the attack even for like look at this this is an sr unit you know and he's at five thousand. like how much more attack does he necessarily really need it would be my you know my counter argument for people that say yo just attack defense i know why you do that is just because if i go crit damage i'm not really ready my combat class but 
combat class in my opinion doesn't matter in pvp after a while if you can just i don't know one shot them so i <laughs> gotta i gotta figure that out on my own skis so you just go attack and defense and you'll be pretty safe you know give him a little bit more tankiness to help him survive he has life still built into his base stats so there's that pretty easy self-explanatory and i didn't do this in my other guides but i thought i'd try it out here maybe let's try to make a team comp now i don't have the character <laughs> so this will be my demon meliotis for this example these are not necessarily the units that i would use per se but i'm just trying to represent like an aoe comp the reason why i would say that an aoe comp is good is because they can deal a decent amount of damage weaken them a lot get them pretty low one of them will die <laughs> And then the demon Meliodas will come in and pretty much be able to clean up. Put infect on a character that like is low or that can't heal themselves or something of that nature and then pretty much clean up. He's a really good, I think, clean up unit if you're thinking about PvP. He's really, really good for cleaning up stuff. So I think that that's one way to use him. Other way I think you could use him. This will be another team. We have Guild Thunder to kind of taunt, keep the pressure off of him so he can kind of just do whatever he wants and some type of alt boosting. That's what Elizabeth actually is here for. Even though this is Red Merlin, I would say this is Green Merlin, you know? <laughs> and you then you don't go with the super alt, right? You don't go with the super alt, then you start off with, your Liz starts off with three, and she'll actually start off with four if you're going second, which is pretty nuts, right? And then she'll get her alt pretty quick, and then she can alt, get him his alt really quick. The good thing about this Guild Thunder is that he actually has an AoE shock, so he puts an AoE debuff as well, and then on it will make it easier for Meliodas to actually target down and get his alt off and then kill off targets so that i think that'd be pretty good if guild thunder happens to like die then you have another really good support character coming in which would be green merlin and then she'll have the shield she has the alt deny and you know she'll be able to kind of help out with that or if you wanted to actually use red merlin you probably you know bring her in into the front and then he has a strong 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 alt the freeze debuff uh rank two rank three into his alt would probably kill anything. I would be 100% <laughs> certain on that. Just based on how much damage it does, single target, it's gonna pretty much kill. And you're pretty much only bringing Merlin for a, a, extra damage. It is mathematicals, 55. You're bringing it for extra 55%. And if I'm being honest, you probably don't need that. So I don't think it's worth losing Merlin if you really wanted to use Merlin. Yes, the alt looks really cool, but the extra 55%, I'm pretty sure they're dying with the original. Like, if they're de if the debuff enemy is there, they're definitely going to die. So, I don't necessarily... This is pretty good for bursting down a boss that has a, a swell of HP. Yes, bring Merlin and get it done. But if you're using a PvP, I think if you want to use Merlin with him, then it's perfectly fine to not have this. <laughs> you know? I hope that makes sense. Alright, so that's the best that I can muster. And it have to count this, so we, we gotta do the, the ad free. Definitely gotta do this one first, you know. We got the red blink. Last free, I got uh, the old king fart. King, old fart king. Oh, that's a little loud. Maybe it's loud because of SSR? Hmm? Okay, I guess not. <laughs> ah, it's like he's looking all that goodness and then just for it to be an R is like so disrespectful. And I got some other tickets to blow. I do have a, a guaranteed SSR. I'm gonna blow that right now too. I need the inventory space, honestly. And if you guys don't know why I do these guide videos is because there would normally just be a summon video, but I, fair, I figured it's better to give my insight on the character and instead of just See, look, it's like the same thing without the, without the, uh, what's going on? He might slash him back? No. Same thing, just without the red blinking eyes. I get jeepy this. Okay, so that's Green King. Pretty good. I kind of agree with other people that say that to not level up his ult, because Green King is really good when he just sits on his ult, and that's where his, a lot of his damage comes out, so I kind of agree with that. Oh, yeah, let's pop this too. But I, I kind of agree with that. He's not a character that needs his ult kind of maxed out. Might as well save it for buying other units. Hey, Grandpa Bon. Cool. Now, even though the Red Demon Sin or whatever, Dragon Sin is in here, we can actually still get Red Helbrum, which is pretty good. So we could luck out and get that. We can still get Gallant in this banner. We can get Hellpierce. So even though I might get him, I can also get some of the other characters that I was looking forward to. So let's go. Three in the hole. Come 
Come on, early indications. I don't know. I'm I'm calling BS. No! <laughs> What's the first? Let me just say that I summoned on the Gother banner. I pitied it like four times. Three to four times. I didn't get Gother. I didn't get Gallon. I didn't summon at all on the Hel the Red Helbrum banner. First pull. The Meliodas. You hate to see it. <laughs> you hate to see it. Well, you love to see it, right? <laughs> oh my god. But now I can see his uh, thing in the full screen mode of this. Look at that. Ooh. That walk is ridiculous, though. You gotta give it up. So now I can do a nice little skill showcase at the end now. Pretty good, right? All the ignites. All of the ignites. Ba -da, ba -da. All the ignites. Look at that, all those damages. Kind of went, well, he's base skill, so he's not going to really do too much damage. Oh, wait, I forgot to turn it on. Okay, does that work? Okay, you can. So this is what it looks like in the, the landscape mode. Ah, there it goes. Some ultimates actually, yeah, look, you see the the, <laughs> the perfect cube. This looks like a perfect cube is around it. Just because of, you know, you're not really supposed to be doing it in this mode. But some look really good, even even with that falter. I think this one looks pretty good, even with that. Yeah, a little bit. You see a little bit. Ha! The fingers. I like it. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good on full screen. I like it. I like it. All right, so that's gonna be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys found this uh, a little bit useful. I try to make every character shine, you know, like regardless, because I feel like some people just, they know a character that's better than them and then they just write them off for the rest of their lives. And I, 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 I don't like that. I don't like that. I, I think there's a way to use every character in the game if you uh, put your mind to it. But uh, one thing that you don't have to put your mind to is the fact that every day at the casino is your lucky day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Also remember that every day at 12 p.m. EST, there will be a Final Fantasy playthrough going up. So if you guys are interested in that, go check that out. Also, if you're interested in downloading this game through my Bluestacks link, it would help me out, you know, and all that good stuff. Okay, bye.